Well, with the winter sports season in full swing, the men's and women's basketball, hockey team, and swimming and diving teams are all looking to successfully wrap up this semester. Katie Giovanelli and Hannah Miller have more from our sports desk. Hey everyone, I'm Katie Giovanelli. And I'm Hannah Miller. Miami's men's basketball team was handed a 65 to 58 loss to Dayton after a hard fought effort on December 2nd. Jordan Furby and I sat down and talked to head coach Charlie Coles after the game. When most people think of Miami University and the cradle of coaches, they think football. However, Miami has a living legend in their head basketball coach. Here's our profile of head coach Charlie Coles. Charlie Coles is in his 14th year as men's basketball coach. Coach Coles got his start with the Red Hawks as a player in the 60s and has been inducted in the Athletic Hall of Fame. We sat down to ask Coach if he's noticed any changes between his playing days and now. Uh, not really. Same thing. We're still trying to get as much as we can out of our athletes. Uh, sometimes we, we have it, sometimes we don't. And I've always said that coaching is about making your team better at the end of the year than they were when they started at the beginning of the year. Miami's women's basketball team will face Wright State on December 9th and Dayton December 12th. Both games will be at Millette Hall. The Red Hawk hockey team will, has found success so far this season, much of which can be credited to the freshman class. We talked to Joe Hartman to see how the team is preparing for upcoming games against Notre Dame and Ohio State. I always like the home crowd, you know, the support, and uh, it's a little different on the road, it's a little more tired, uh, but um, yeah. I think it'll be an advantage for us, obviously, to get home and have a high Try to prepare for their, uh, every game the exact same way, just because, you know, every weekend we're going to be uh, getting the best from each team, so really we have to just do the same thing we always do. Our swimming and diving team has been making quite a splash this year. Here's Drew Balea with a mid-season recap. While the majority of students at Miami University are fast asleep, the men's and women's swim teams are in the pool here at the Corwin M. Nixon Aquatic Center, working towards a Mid-American Conference Championship. Coming off a MAC Championship winning season, the women's team has progressed well with three wins and one loss. Head coach Dave Jennings believes it's the team's togetherness that's led to this start. Because we really try to stress the team aspect of things, I think with a women's team that's pretty important. So. Uh, the girls are getting along really well, and I think that's been a very good thing. While the team has a strong core, there has been some trouble finding that go-to performer. I graduated one of the top sprinters in the country, as well as one of the top sprinters uh, in the MAC, um, you know, uh, Ali Schmidt and Ali Stevens. Uh, uh -huh. So I don't think you ever replace anybody. Uh, I've always believed that. And we've had some really good swimmers throughout the years. We're, we're working on developing, and that's, it's going to take a little while to kind of get somebody at that level. At the halfway point of the season, senior and captain Allison Way believes the team is having no troubles staying focused on the ultimate goal of repeating as MAC champs. Our motivation comes from the success that we had last year. Um, we won the MAC championship last year and we got a bunch of new records up on our record board. So um, I think having that behind our backs really motivates us to try and go for it again this year. On the men's side of the action, the Red Hawks have started out three and four. Head coach Pete Lindsay also believes that a strong team camaraderie early in the season is vital to their success. Really pretty far along. I sometimes have seasons where we don't get to the working with each other until end of January, early February, yeah. so we're seeing team rivalry. That's a good thing, but we're not seeing um, the stratification that sometimes in a team that doesn't gel well, as you see. All right. Sophomore Chris Gunnels and senior Dave Brown have been the early standouts for the men. Lindsay expects divers Jimmy Beres and Cameron Horner to play a big factor in their success as well. But the divers, in terms of the depth that they bring, I think are going to well, I don't know. Either Jim or Cameron could win both boards this year. With the graduation of three MAC champions, Lindsay believes it will take a full team effort to win it all. At this team, I don't see this as a team with five MAC champions on it. I do see it as a team where we could have quite a few people who are going to be in the second to fifth, second to sixth. So it's been more of a getting away from the let George do it attitude, more towards a, okay, everybody has to cover each other's back. The Red Hawks look to one another for motivation throughout the heart of the season, and at the front of it all is senior captain Mike Carroll. Personally, I think about conference meet every day, so <clears throat> I think as a team, 
we kind of have our conference goal of to, uh, you know, go there and win a MAC championship. I think it's so. a team aspect. I mean, it can't come from one person. It's got to come from everybody. So especially with such a big freshman class, they got to be able to see all of us up there every day. And the goal for the end of the year is still very clear and direct. If Eastern's conference champs, we want to beat them. If Eastern's fifth, we want to be fourth. If Eastern's eighth, we want to be seventh. <laughs> okay. I, but no, I mean, seriously, the, the team always, uh, a long-term goal, short-term goal, is always to be the conference champion. The men's and women's teams are looking forward to a strong second half of the season and to ultimately attain the title of conference champs. For Miami Television News, I'm Drew Balea. Thanks, Drew. That's all for sports. We hope all you Red Hawk sports fans enjoy the holiday season. Back to you guys at the news desk. Thanks, guys. We look forward to cheering them on when classes resume next semester. Well, that's it for us. I hope you have a fun and safe winter break. Tune in next time. I'm Megan Sweeney. I'm Emily Laws. And I'm Drew Balea. Take care.